Hello everyone. Today we are here in Anza, which is a mountain town up here off of uh, the 371. So from uh, Indio I had to take Highway 74 and then 371 to get here. Uh, pretty windy mountain road that is pretty technical with a truck and trailer at least. Um, so we're up here going to be picking up a 5100 series John Deere uh, tractor. Apparently it has some issues uh, where it, it runs for like 10 minutes and then shuts off. So uh, we should be able to load it and then uh, chain it down, get it back to Indio and let the uh, technicians down there work on it. So uh, let's go ahead and load this up. PTO on, and we'll grab our remote and our keys. Let's go ahead and see you up again. Hello. Thank you very much.
One board. One board. Good. Close enough. Neutral, clutch out, holds. Apparently, it doesn't want us to keep it, so just keep that with us. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is once we get to the mountainous pass, I'm actually gonna wear the camera and show you guys how we're gonna handle that. Show you guys how we should, and stuff like that. I think you guys might enjoy that. It's not the craziest mountain pass, but still enough to, you wouldn't wanna send your new, newest driver up, up through it. Or likes to tie itself in knots for whatever reason. All right. Hook and hook. how the weight change like the weight difference most of the time if I have something big I have to go up like up to here right there it already started coming back coming up with the axles coming or right, going back so just shows you how the weight plays a big difference
So, like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this pretty straight, straightforward uh, area, and then once we start dropping down back into the valley, uh, it gets real windy, hairpin turns, and a pretty good grade. Um, this isn't a very heavy load, so I'm not too worried about that. But the, the turns are interesting because if you're not hugging the line, the opposite line, your trailer can very easily drop down into the ditch. So, uh, like I said, let's go ahead and uh, drive a little bit and then we'll get back with you. All right, guys, we just started coming down the hill here uh, on the back side, or actually, well, the Palm Desert side of Highway 74. Um, so we're just working our way down. Currently, there's a motorcycle and a truck behind us, but they're uh, they're keeping their distance. They're not riding me, so I'm not really worried. I think they're taking it slow as well. A lot of people like to fly down this hill because it is a nice road for driving a sports car. Um, but that also entails people flying off the cliff. Uh, I should have had the camera rolling, but there was a guardrail blown out back there um, where a car went off the cliff. Um, so yeah. We're gonna just take it nice and easy down this hill. Um, I'll try to kind of look out that way and give you guys a nice view. Hopefully my head turning isn't too aggressive. I'll try to be smooth about it, but I'm constantly looking in my mirror making sure I'm not too far over with that trailer. Um, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit, and but mostly we'll enjoy the ride. Um, right now, I think I'm in eighth gear. Really remember and I'm not gonna take it out of gear to find out because then we'll start running away um, but basically the hill hill um, I guess downhill driving in a semi is you the rule of thumb and I drive like this whenever I can not just on a hill but especially on a hill always want to use your exhaust brake and you want to use that as much as you can before you have to use your brakes so currently I have not touched my brakes yet um, there is one like turn down the hill a ways that we might have to use it, but uh, pretty much intending on not using our, our uh, brakes at all. Uh, that's, the, that's the goal at least. What can occur is if, uh, if you use your brakes too much, um, not so much on this load since we're not that heavy, but say we're fully loaded 80,000 pounds coming down the hill and we're just riding our brakes, those brakes are gonna get hot. We're holding back 80,000 pounds plus you know, whatever extra uh, you get out of the downhill uh, grade that you're that you're coming down. Um, and so what happens is your brakes get really hot, they get mushy, and then you can end up losing your brakes entirely. And that's why we have these uh, runaway ramps, which this hill does not have. Um, so just gotta be careful. If you are gonna use your brakes, you don't wanna ride your brakes, you wanna pump them or like use them slow down, let off, let them cool down, and then use them again when you need them. Uh, you don't want to just ride your brakes the whole way down a hill. They'll get, hey, real, hey, hill. Hey, They'll get real hot real quick. Now, we did get a check engine light climbing up this hill, um, and I stopped in a turnout called the, uh, our mechanic, and uh, this new camera system is plugged in the OBD port, so it's, it's able to read the code. Um, and it wasn't anything uh, major. It, was, it wasn't anything we should worry about. So probably just get back to the yard and clear it out. Um, nothing to be worried about. So like, for example, right here, we got a turnout here and uh, I'm not gonna use it because that's way too small for me. Find a big turnout, we'll, we'll pull out because we got a few cars coming behind us. It's kind of a, a battle because you don't you you want to turn out and let these guys go, but you don't want to just mash your brakes. I'm going to use this one because it's pretty big. So we'll use this one before we start coming down the hill. So this is uh, once we get past here, it's going to start getting pretty uh, pretty severe. This guy looks like he's going to wait with me. I'll let him go in front of me though. second right now, grab third, we got our exhaust brake on, grab fourth, grab fifth, since we're going downhill we're shifting super quick, grab seventh, I skipped the gear there by the way, um, 
then let's see, let's see what seventh. Well, we'll grab eight. I guess uh, we'll let eight hold us down the hill. If we need to downshift, we'll downshift. 35 is a good speed to come down this hill. Sure, there's places that you can uh, get faster, like on the straightaways, but in my opinion, it's like, is it really worth it to be upshift, downshift, upshift, downshift? So. Eighth gear is holding us right at like 35, 34. So right here, I'm actually gonna hit the throttle and just, I'm not really using the throttle, just enough to turn off the exhaust brake. Let it build a little bit of speed to get through this straight and then we'll get back on the exhaust brake. Still no cars behind us. Get there. Okay, back on the throttle, just off the exhaust brake, and then back onto it. Oh my God. This this uh, this turn gives a pretty good view of the valley. It's also where a wreck happened, by the way. All right, so there's the valley. Pretty neat. guy was here when I climbed up. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe camping? Alright, so this is where it gets uh, pretty steep, or steeper at least. We do have cars behind us, but there's not a really good turnout. I'm not going to use that one because I'm not confident that we'll stop in time to get into that. Um, so we'll just go around this curve. Um, I'm watching my RPM. We're not gaining RPM. We're holding pretty good, so I'm confident with uh, with my gear placement right now. Um, we're just we're just letting the truck hold us right now. This is Vista Point right here. This is a viewpoint that a lot of people like to come out in the middle of the night and hang out and watch the stars and probably do things they shouldn't be doing. But that's that's Vista Point. Very popular spot for uh, prom night. <laughs> All right, this is a straightaway. I know this uh, part of the road, so I'm just gonna, uh, I'll probably upshift one gear, let us get a little bit of speed so we're not hogging it up too much. We'll do 45 right here, and then we'll probably need brakes coming up here, and we'll downshift. All right, so here's our 35 mile an hour turn. So we'll give a little pump of brakes to get our RPMs a little lower, and then we'll grab eight. All right, there's eight. Let it slow us down. We'll give a little bit of brakes to get back down to 35, and we'll hit this turn. This is where the hairpins start. And there's not really any good turnouts until, well, there isn't actually. On this side of the road, there's no turnouts. Uh, there is a passing lane coming up that these guys will I'm sure pass me, but right now I'm just focused on getting down the hill safely. Um, so I'm not really gonna let these guys, like this guy right here, Pass me on a turn. Not very smart, but it's his life. There is a spot coming up here. Let's find it. It's coming up. There's a spot coming up here where we worked the wreck a few years ago. Before I had GoPros, it would have been a really good one. Uh, we had a semi down in the ditch. Um, I don't know if they since put a guardrail up, but it was similar to this. It's one of these like little pockets that we have coming up here um, where a semi lost control and just plowed into the ditch. And we ended up shutting down the whole Highway 74 for a whole day to recover it. Um, pretty good one. Oh, there's a helicopter, that's cool. I believe it was this ditch. And I think they since put a guardrail up. But yeah, imagine a semi down in there is pretty intense. And no, we did not have the rotator, so I mean, like I say, like I said before, we got stuff done without the rotator, but yeah, definitely the rotator would have made that one a lot easier. <laughs> For sure. All right, so here's our 30 mile an hour uh, hairpin. This one's a pretty good hairpin. Um, if, I, if I remember correctly, 
this is the turn that my dad, when he was a kid, was riding with my grandpa up here on a motorcycle and they blew a, a tire and they ended up sliding out right here. As you can see, guardrail damage, so that's the scene of either someone went completely off or hit it, who knows. One of our drivers, Tozy, was up here a few days ago working an accident. It wasn't off the cliff, but they went head on up here. So what I'm doing on these turns is I'm kind of just holding the opposite edge. So that way the trailer has room, oh, has like separation away from the opposing guardrail. Um, so for example, for a right turn, I'm holding the left line to give it some room. Bighorn Country Club. I don't, it's probably hard to tell on the cameras, but that's home to the billionaires and millionaires of this valley. They all have 20, 30,000 square feet houses in that complex. It's massive. It's ridiculous. All giant custom homes. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, we'll turn out here. We're slow enough right now. We can turn out.
big turns, I guess, and we're we're down.